Hi, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I wanted to explain some of the reasons you should be watching Frightville. Uh, Frightville is an original creation of mine. I don't copyright myself and let people use it on their channels if they want to. I don't really care. And first reason is innovative plots. Now... Most of the stuff you see nowadays, same thing over and over again. Different characters, different settings, same thing. Hollywood's full of gore, but no real imagination. Well, real imagination is gone. That's one thing you can't say about Artifacts of Mars. I go out of my way to find things that haven't been done before. And I do things in a different way than others do. For example, uh, Open House featured a griffin. Uh, an actual griffin from mythology is, I think it had a head of an eagle and the body of a lion or something like that. And it was used for, it guarded wealth or that type of thing. This one was semi nasty. It wasn't all that. No, it wasn't really a monster. Okay, on next. Reason two, Gorgeous Dancing Girls. I've uh, created a school where teenage girls are learning how to country dance, among other things, and I design, custom design the dresses and Everything myself. They're all my design. And it's just a pleasure to watch. I know the average fem feminist will be sitting there tearing their hair off by the roots, but too bad. So I like watching gorgeous dancing girls. You got a problem with that? So I don't care. Okay, so you won't find this anywhere else. Not like I do it. Innovative camera angles and that type of thing. Great bluegrass and country music. I can't say anything good enough about Nat Keefe and Hot Buttered Rum. Uh, he's got some of the best YouTube music available from the YouTube audio library, so I don't have to worry about copyright violations, that type of thing. Great bluegrass and country music. Some of it's a little variable, but I try to keep it country. That's what I love, and that's what I put in here. And the Dixie Bells will do at least one song. They're not a real group, obviously. I made them up. They came from my Utopia 2050 movie. Okay, and the next... The Dixie Bells are an all-girl band, which I jumped up when they came from the Utopia 2050 movie, like you just said. Uh, they're a sight to be seen and a sight to uh, listen to. Obviously, I'm using YouTube uh, audio movie music for them. But they are absolutely gorgeous, and I enjoy working with avatars. I custom design all, you know, all the clothes and that type of thing. They just look fantastic. Horror, not boring talk. If you look at some of these uh, 1950s horror movies, there really isn't anything in them. Dracula movies, uh, you have whoever, Peter Cushing, just skulking around, doing nothing, talking. I remember watching one about Dracula's castle or something. Watch the whole thing through and there's an off-camera screen. And that was all there was. Uh, this is not Dark Shadows, folks. I guarantee you, this is not Dark Shadows. If you're not familiar with Dark Shadows, and a character just skulked around, he was a vampire, and all he was skulked around and spooky. There's never a neck bite, ever. 
vampires really suck. Uh, I created a uh, family where two of the members are vampires, and uh, Grant and Jerry, and the father Armand, mother Jesse, daughter Jane are shapeshifters. They shapeshift into cat form on occasions and go out hunting. Lisa's decided to live her life as a human. She is capable of shapeshifting. Now, my vampires thrash a victim pretty good, and then they suck her dry. That's what they do. Real vampire attacks. There's none of this BS where they advertise it and nothing happens. It's not my way. I like to have some horror in my horror. Okay, next, no tomboys. Uh, that would actually be difficult for me to do. Because the way I have things set up, I actually create my, uh, avatars. Uh, really on an assembly line basis. But, I go out of my way to make them look feminine. They're not going to look masculine. They're not going to act like a bunch of boys. No tomboys, period. I might, on some rare occasions, have to have an ugly old witch or something. That's fine. I don't have a problem with it. But, uh, the women are going to look attractive. Yeah, I'm a sexist pig. Get over it. Great camera work. I do better camera work than, uh, most any animators on, uh, YouTube, so, what can I say? I go out of my way to give you varied camera angles so you don't get bored. Second so Life Virtual Reality, my characters are, uh, virtual reality characters, so they don't, they look cartoonish to an extent, but they're far better than what you would get from Disney Pixar. Far better. Those are just crappy cartoon characters. What else else going to say? Yes, I said it. Disney Pixar is just crappy cartoon characters. These at least look halfway decent. Maybe someday somebody will come up with a better system, but until they do, well, uh, this is what I'll use. Entertainment, not politics. Seems like politics has wormed its way into everything these days. Not in these videos. No political correctness. None of this... No Black Lives Matter, no Antifa, nothing like that. This is pure entertainment. Music, dancing, and horror. Or is it dancing, music, and horror? Or is it horror, dancing, and music? Whatever. The point here is that this is designed for your entertainment, not for uh, somebody's personal idea of what things should be like. There are no Dixie Bells in reality, obviously. There's no Frightville. Uh, there are no witches, per se, although I'm getting into a difficult area there, because there are some that consider themselves witches. There's no vampires, per se. There are vampire cults out there. But this is designed for fun. It's something which seems to be in so short supply nowadays. Well, look, there you have it. There's reasons you should watch uh, Frightville. Another one is in the works. Thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll uh, 
give you a thrill next time around. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.